The State Space Agency of Ukraine (SSAU), Ukrainian: Dozavna Kosmichna Agentsvo Ukraini, Dozavna Kosmichna Agentsvo Ukraini, DKAU, is the Ukrainian government agency responsible for space policy and programs. Along with the Ukrainian defense industry and the Antonov Aeronautical Scientific Technical Complex, it is a major state complex of the National Defense Industry of Ukraine. The State Space Agency of Ukraine does not specialize in manned astronautical programs. It is the second of two direct Soviet space program descendants. The agency does not have its own spaceport and is often dependent on the resources of the Russian Federal Space Agency the primary inheritor of the Soviet space program. Until December 9, 2010, the agency was known as National Kosmisna Agentsvo Ukraini, GAU the National Space Agency of Ukraine (NSAU). Until 2014, launches were conducted at Kazakhstan's Baikonur and Russia's Plesetsk cosmodromes. After the Crimean crisis, launches were conducted on sea launches floating platform, which was soon mothballed. NSAU has ground control and tracking facilities in Kiev and a control center in Dunive Sea Oblast. Other facilities in Yevpatoria, Crimea were abandoned after the annexation. Ukrainian spacecraft include a few kinds for domestic and foreign use and international cooperation. Ukraine has supplied Russia with military satellites and their launch vehicles, a unique relationship in the world. <laughs> Main tasks Development of state policy concepts in the sphere of research and peaceful uses of space, as well as in the interests of national security. Organization and development of space activities in Ukraine and under its jurisdiction abroad Contributing to state national security and defense capability Organization and development of Ukraine's cooperation with other states and international space organizations. NSAU is a civil body in charge of co ordinating the efforts of government installations, research, and industrial companies. Mostly state -owned. Several space related institutes and industries are directly subordinated to NSAU. However, it is not a united and centralized system immediately participating in all stages and details of space programs like NASA in the United States. A special space force in the military of Ukraine is also absent. The agency oversees launch vehicle and satellite programs, cooperative programs with the Russian Aviation and Space Agency, the European Space Agency, NASA, and commercial ventures. International participation includes Sea Launch and the Galileo Positioning System. Topic: <laughs> Space Program. Space activities in Ukraine have been pursued over a 10-year span in strict accordance with national space programs. Each of them was intended to address the relevant current issues to preserve and further develop the space potential of Ukraine. The first program (1993–1997) was called upon to keep up the research and industrial space-related potentiality for the benefit of the national economy and state security, as well as to be able to break into the international market of space services. 
The second program was aimed at creating an internal market of space services, conquering the international space markets by presenting in-house products and services including launch complexes and spacecraft, space-acquired data, space system components, and integrating Ukraine into the worldwide space community. The National Space Programme of Ukraine for 2003–2007 which was adopted by the Verkhovna Rada of Ukraine, the Parliament of Ukraine on October 24, 2002, outlines the main goals, assignments, priorities, and methods of maintaining space activity in Ukraine. The Ukrainian Cabinet of Ministers announced its plans on 13 April 2007 to allocate €312 million Euros to the National Space Programme for 2007–2011. Specific programmes Scientific space research Remote sensing of the Earth Satellite telecommunication systems Development of ground-based infrastructure for navigation and special information system Space activities in the interests of national security and defense Space complexes Development of base elements and advanced space technologies Development of research, test and production base of the space sector goals of the program To develop a national system for Earth observation from outer space to meet the national demands in the social economic sphere and for security and defense purposes to introduce satellite systems and communication facilities into the telecommunication infrastructure of the state to obtain new fundamental knowledge on near-Earth outer space, the solar system, deep space, biological and physical processes and the microgravity condition To create and develop techniques for space access with a view toward realizing national and international projects and to enable the homemade rocket to be employed on the worldwide market of space transportation services to elaborate the advanced space facilities To ensure the innovative development of the space sector in terms of improving its research, experimental and production basis History The agency is a minor descendant of the Soviet space program that was passed mostly to the Russian Federal Space Agency. The agency took over all the former Soviet defense industrial complex that was located on the territory of Ukraine. The space industry of Ukraine started in 1937 when a group of scientists led by Heorhi Proskura launched a large stratospheric rocket near Kharkiv. In 1954, the Soviet government transformed the car producer Yuzhmash into a rocket company. Since that time, the city of Dnipropetrovsk has been known in the Anglophone world as the Soviet rocket city. Ukraine officially became the 10th space power on August 31, 1995 with the launch of SIK-1 using a TSYKLON-3. As of April 2009, the Ukrainian National Space Agency is planning to launch a Ukrainian communications satellite by September 2011 and a SIK-2 before the end of 2011. Topic: National Enterprises of the Space Industry. Most of the enterprises are located in Dnipro or Kiev. Dnipro State Enterprise Makarov Yuzhny Machine Building Plant, Yuzhmash. State Enterprise Yangol Yuznoy State Design Office. State Enterprise Dniprokosmos. 
state enterprise, Dniprovsky Project Institute, Makarov National Center of Aero Cosmic Education for the Youth, State Enterprise, Center of Rocket Space Technology Standardization, State Enterprise, Nikopol Pipe Plant State Enterprise, Pavlorad Chemical Plant, Kiev State Enterprise, Arsenal Factory, State Enterprise, Yukosmos, State Enterprise, Kyiv Prelad, State Enterprise, Scientific Center of a Precise Machine Building State Joint Stock Holding Company, Kiev Radio Plant, former production complex, Open Joint Stock Association, Kiev Radio Plant, Open Joint Stock Association, RSB Radio Plant, Open Joint Stock Association, SPC Kurs State Scientific Production Center, Pryroda. State Scientific Production Enterprise, Ukrainsky Innovate Sine Promislavi Technology, Kharkiv Science Research Technological Institute of Instrument Building, NDTIP. Public Stock Association, Kartron. Corporation Komenar Crimea National Space Facilities Control and Testing Center Topic Launch Capabilities During 1991 to 2007, a total of 97 launches of Ukrainian LV were conducted, including but not limited to launches on the Sea Launch mobile launch pad. In 2006, Ukrainian launch vehicles accounted for 12% of all launches into space in the world. Ukrainian companies Yuznoy Design Office and Yuzhmash have engineered and produced seven types of launch vehicles. Adding strap-on boosters to launch vehicles may expand the family of Mayak, which is the latest launch vehicle developed. <laughs> Former Cyclon TSYKLON 2 TSYKLON 3 Current Zenit 2 Zenit 3SL Zenit 3SLB DNEPR Topic Developed Mayak Cyclone four M Topic Svetiaz Project the Svetiaz, Oral and Sura Aerospace Rocket Complexes ASRC is intended for launching of various spacecraft SC into circular, elliptic and high-altitude circular, including the geostationary GSO, orbits. Svetiaz ASC represents a unique system that allows launch of spacecraft without utilization of complicated ground infrastructure. The Svetiaz is launched directly from a modified version of an 225 m Rhea, a Ukrainian airplane and airplane carrier that is currently the largest one in the world. Modified m Rhea that will be used to carry Svetiaz has been designated a code of an 225 100. The aircraft is equipped with special devices to secure the LV above the fuselage. The operators and on-board equipment are located in the pressure-tight cabins. 
The Svetiaz LV is being created on the basis of units, aggregates and systems of Zenit LV. It consists of three stages of non-toxic propellants — liquid oxygen and kerosene. The launch vehicle is injected into the geostationary orbit using a solid propellant apogee stage. Sea launch project See more detailed article at Sea Launch Sea Launch is joint venture space transportation company, partially owned by companies in Ukraine which handle operations for the National Space Agency. Sea Launch offers a mobile sea platform, used for spacecraft launches of commercial payloads on specialized Ukrainian Zenit 3SL rockets. The main advantage of the floating cosmodrome is its placement directly on the equator. It allows taking the greatest advantage of Earth's rotation to deliver payloads into orbit at low expense. Within the framework of the project the space rocket complex was developed, which consists of four components Marine segment Rocket segment Spacecraft segment and Facility C launch mothballed its ships and put operations on long-term hiatus in 2014. <laughs> Satellite programs Ukraine produced the SIC and Okean Earth observation satellites, as well as a few other types of satellites and the Corona's Solar Observatory in cooperation with Russia. SIC-1 Okean since 1999. SIC-1M MC1TK 2004 to 2006 SIC2 2011 2012 Libid 1 planned NSAU currently is working on further 6 series satellites SIC2M SIC3 SIC30 and SIC3P Libid M and an Euchrysalina satellite to fly around the moon in 2017 postponed topic human flights prior to ukraine's independence several ukrainians flew in space under the soviet flag ukrainian pavlo popovich was the fourth cosmonaut in space in 1962 the first ukrainian to fly in space under the ukrainian flag was leonid k kadeniuk on the 13th of may 1997 he was a payload specialist on nasa's sts87 space shuttle mission it was an international spaceflight mission involving crew members from nasa usa nsau ukraine and nasda japan Topic Director General Volodymyr Horbulin, March 9, 1992 to August 12, 1994. Andriy Zhalko Titarenko, August 23, 1994 to March 9, 1995. Alexander Neroda, February 20, 1995 to July 25, 2005. Yuri Alexeyev, July 25, 2005 to February 11, 2009. Alexander Zinchenko, February 11, 2009 to March 17, 2010. Yuri Alexeyev, March 17, 2010 to November 28, 2014. Alexander Holub, October 16, 2014 to January 21, 2015. 
Ole Juriski, January 21st to August 19th, 2015. Lyubomir Sabadosh, August 19th, 2015 to July 22nd, 2016. Alexander Holub, July 25th to September 13th, 2016. Yuri Radchenko interim September 14, 2016 to August 31, 2017. Pavlo Detyarenko since August 31, 2017. Topic See also LVIV Center of Institute for Space Research a message from Earth AMFE was sent by NSAU towards Gliese 581c, a large terrestrial extrasolar planet orbiting the red dwarf star Gliese 581. The signal is a digital time capsule containing 501 messages. <laughs>